C4 has sat outside of Strickler for nearly five decades, but it will come down over the next several years. Before work continues on phase two of the project, the University of Arkansas opened the facility to give the public a look inside. As soon as I heard that they were going to do this, uh, my husband and I, we were all four coming down here to see inside of it. Like hundreds of others who lined up outside the gates Thursday, Geraldine Alvis has always wanted to see C4 for herself. Down the hallway of the operations building, the years of neglect are obvious. This is the control room. Once bustling, it's been idle since 1972. From there, the tour took us to the heart of the facility. Okay, so this is the reactor support building. This is where the nuclear material was stored from 1969 to 1972. Now we're inside the containment structure. This wall right here is a concrete wall, approximately four feet thick. That's the bioshield wall. The reactor is on the other side of that. From the containment area down the stairs to the large dome that you usually see through the trees from the outside. That's the reactor, the core is down inside of that. That's the only source of radioactivity within this structure right now. It's the irradiated uh, walls of the vessel inside. and the hardware that's inside it. The radioactive material was removed in 1972, but everything else around the reactor is still there rusting and dusted. But in two years, Mike Johnson with the U of A says the only thing left in the area will be a green field and a memory. Ideally, we'll have 640 pristine acres and the three-acre piece of C4 uh, will be history. In Strickler, covering the news where you live, Brian Schaver, 5 News.